Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of polynomials, we shall be taking question 6 of exercise 2.5. Now question 6 says, write the following cubes in the expanded form. So as you can see, there are four parts to this question and we have whole cubes, right? Now for the whole cubes, that means cube polynomials, we shall use identity 6 and 7. One has x plus y whole cube and the other one has x minus y whole cube. And accordingly, the only difference is the minus and the plus sign over here. Here all are plus sign as you can see and here all are minus sign except for the first one right so when you take it common 3xy all will be minus over here so this is the way to remember otherwise it is plus minus plus minus but when you take out 3xy common you are left with x minus y so these two identities we are going to use to solve these four parts right identity 6 and identity 7 now let us take the first part now in the first part they are asking us to expand 2x plus 1 whole cube, right? So clearly it is identity 6 which says that x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3 into x into y in bracket x plus y, right? Now these are the factors and when you multiply the factors, what you will get? You will get the product. That means they are asking us to find the product. Expansion means to find the product. Now, if you compare x plus y with 2x plus 1, you will say your x is 2x, your y is 1. So now only thing required is you just have to put the value of x and y in the given identity. So 2x plus 1 whole cube is equal to first term is x cube and x is your 2x. So you will write 2x whole cube. Then you have y cube. So y is your 1, right? So you will write 1 cube. Then 3 into xy. So 3 as it is, x is 2x, y is 1, right? Accordingly, we have inserted. And in bracket, x plus y is there. So 2x plus 1, right? Now 2x cube. Now you have to solve 2x cube. Very carefully, you will write 2x whole cube right and then whole cube means what that you have to multiply 2 also 3 times and x also 3 times it is 2 cube and x cube as well as x cube so 2 cube is 8 and x cube over here so 2x whole cube what you will get 8x cube right 1 cube is 1 only then you have 3 into 2 that is 6, 6x, right, into 1 is 6x only, and 2x plus 1 as it is, I have written in the bracket. Now, I will open the bracket in the next step. So, 8x cube as it is, 1 as it is over here, right. Now, when you open the bracket, 6 into 2, 12, x into x, x square, then 6x into 1, you will get 6x. So, this is your product. That means this is your expansion of the whole cube which is given to us in the question, right? Now let us take up second part. In second part, they are saying expand 2a minus 3b whole cube, right? Now there is a minus sign over here. So clearly it is identity 7, which is x minus y whole cube is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy in bracket x minus y. So make sure everywhere it is minus sign. Now if you compare 2a minus 3b with x minus y, you will observe this is your x minus y, right? So your x is what? x is your 2a, right? And y is your 3b. So accordingly, you will put the values in the given identity. So 2a minus 3b whole cube, if we start expanding, the first term says x cube. So 2a cube, then minus sign. Then they are saying y cube. So y is what? 3b. So 3b whole cube, then minus 3, minus 3 as it is, x into y. x is 2a, y is 3b, right? Now bracket x minus y. So x is your 2a, 
y is your 3b as it is we are writing x as 2a and y as 3b wherever it is there in the identity right now 2a whole cube as i have already explained 2a whole cube means you will cube the 2 also and you will cube the a also both will be cubed so it will be 8a cube so accordingly we have written over here 8a cube now 3b 3b whole cube is nothing but 3 cube into b cube right both has to be cubed now 3 cube is what 27 and b cube b cube so over here 27 b cube make sure minus sign is outside now minus sign again over here and next we have 3 into 2 6 6 into 3 18 18 a b right because a into b a b next let us see 2 a minus 3 b as it is we are writing now we shall open the brackets so 8 a q minus 27 b q you can write as it is now minus sign minus sign and 18 into 2 36 a into a a square and b as it is and minus into minus now minus into minus you have that will become plus 18 into 3 54 a as it is because a there is no variable over here so a as it is and b into b you will get b square so this is your answer what is the answer 8 a cube minus 27 b cube minus 36 a square b plus 54 a b square right now let us take up third part we have to expand 3 by 2 x plus 1 whole cube now there is whole cube also there is plus sign also that means it clearly matches the identity 6 where x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3 x y in bracket x plus y now if you compare the question with the identity so x is what x is the first term 3 by 2 x and y is our second term that is 1 right this is your x and this is your y x plus y whole cube now you simply have to put the values of x and y in the given identity so let us start 3 by 2 x plus 1 whole cube is first term is x cube so x is our 3 by 2 x so let us start 3 x by 2 whole cube then we have y cube next term y is our 1 so we will put 1 cube over here then 3 into x into y right so 3 into x x is 3 by 2 x y y is 1 so accordingly we have put the values over here of x and y 3 into x into y now x plus y that is 3 by 2 x plus 1 now let us further solve it now 3 by 3 by 2 x whole cube 3 we can also write it as 3x by 2 whole cube so as i said whole cube when you are doing you have to cube the 3 also you have to cube x also and you have to cube 2 also right so all the vari uh, variables all the coefficients everything has to be solved now 3 cube is your 27 into x cube divided by 8 yes 2 cube is 8 so you will get 27 by 8 x cube right 1 cube is as it is 1 will come now 3 into 3 is 9 right divided by 2 into x and in bracket 3 by 2 x plus 1 as it is now we shall open the brackets so over here this has come as it is 27 by 8 x cube 1 has come as it is now open the brackets 9 th uh, 9 into 3 27 2 into 2 you will get 4 and accordingly x into x also you will get x square now 9 by 2 x into 1 is the number itself that is 9 by 2 x anything multiplied by 1 is number itself so this is our final answer same thing you can just write in standard form 27 by 8 x cube 27 by 4 x square 9 by 2 x and plus 1 this is the standard form of writing any cubic polynomial or any other polynomial right so we have used 
over here identity 6 x plus y whole cube to solve this question because here was cube was there plus sign was there so it matches with our identity 6 right now let us take a fourth part here also we have to expand x minus 2 by 3 y whole cube that means we have to find the product right so clearly it is identity 7 because there is a minus sign and whole cube so it is identity 7 which says x minus y whole cube is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy in bracket x minus y now if you compare x minus y with x minus 2 by 3 y with the question you will observe that x is x only there is no change in the x but there is a change in the y y has now become 2 by 3 of y or you can say 2 y by 3 so now accordingly we will start solving yes first term is x cube x is what x so we will write x cube then we have y cube minus y cube so minus y is 2y by 3 so accordingly you will write 2 by 3y or 2y by 3 whole cube then minus minus sign is there then 3 into x into y so 3 into x is as it is 2 by 3y yes in bracket x minus y so you will write x minus 2 by 3y right now x cube is x cube now you have to find the cube of 2 by 3 y whole cube so what you will do you will do 2 cube into y cube and you will divide by 3 cube 2 cube is your 8 8 y cube you will get and over here 3 cube is your 27 so you will get 8 y cube by 27 or 8 by 27 into y cube now next now next if you see 3 into x into y over here isn't 3 and 3 uh, common which you can cancel yes and you are left with 2xy right x is there 2 is there and y is there so 2xy bracket as it is right x minus 2 by 3 y as it is now I will further in next step open the bracket so x cube as it is 8 by 27 y cube as it is with the minus sign and over here now open the bracket that means you will multiply by x so you will get minus 2x square y and then you will multiply by minus 2 by 3 y so now over here see minus minus first of all it will become plus 2 into 2 you will get 4 in the numerator 3 in the denominator x as it is because x into 1 is x and y into y but y into y you will get y square so your answer is x cube minus 8 by 27 y cube minus 2 x square y and plus 4 by 3 x y square so this is your answer right so this is it children hope you have understood question 6 based on identity 6 and 7 next video i will be taking question 7 which is also based on these two identities thank you everyone have a great day ahead